so you don't have to believe me but if you think that everything is going to shit and is going to get worse and it's going to get really really bad and we are going to be enslaved physically because we have been energetically and spiritually but that isn't enough right everything right now is going to be painted as if everything is going to shit but it's actually not and if you close your eyes and you just welcome this information right now wouldn't it make fucking sense that we are not the only ones in the universe yes it would would it make sense that aliens have already been here and maybe they understand the power of the human being and they have used it to their advantage to harvest our divine and powerful energy yes it would make sense so when you put that all together would it make sense that our infinite divine powerful consciousness united with the powerful earth of this planet that is anchored in love would eventually beat out the darkness because love divine love is one of the most powerful forces in the universe so in what world do you think that darkness wins darkness has won okay it's been it's been winning for the past i don't know how many fucking years they have already enslaved you yeah it's gonna get worse man okay is it worse being in a prison that you know you're in a prison or being in a prison thinking that you're free which one is worse people think that they're free because they have a job but they're in debt people think they're free because they have money but the money is worth nothing people think they're free because they can work really fucking hard and slave their asses to make money and live a good life okay that is not freedom i know how it would make a lot of sense to believe that things are going to shit but that is what the media is shoving down your fucking throat the media wouldn't want you to know that it's headed in the direction of light and love the media wouldn't want you to know that everything in this system as you know is going to crumble and fall apart because it was literally designed to keep you enslaved the media wouldn't tell you that that's why you don't know about it that's why you're scared and that's why your mind is going to the low vibration of fear because we literally operate in fear fear is all around us you just have to turn on your fucking tv to see tv and shit and you there you go you get scared instantly so if we are compassionate and loving beings in this universe wouldn't it make sense that there are other compassionate and loving beings all across the universe in different dimensions in different physical forms in different energies i don't know how it works but I highly believe that we are not alone in this war. This is said to be a galactic war. You might think we're in Star Wars. <laughs> sure, whatever floats your boat. Because we technically are. If you think that this is a war against humans, wake up. Open your mind. Just a little bit. You gotta go a little bit further than that. You gotta... You gotta expand it a little bit because this is so much more complex. I remember thinking it was not. Yeah, we're just living this simple life and there's nothing bigger than this. And what do you mean? This is just totally normal. No, it's not. No, it's not. We accepted it because we love comfort. We love safety. And they have given us the false illusion of that. So we've eaten it, swallowed it whole. There are forces across the universe who have agreed to help us. Because I believe, and I could be crazy, I could be stupid, enlighten me and it makes sense that it's dark and evil beings who took over the control of this planet for a certain amount of time we being loving and compassionate never ask questions we let it slide right now we can't have that anymore because literally everything in our in our simulation is not natural it's not natural for you to work time is not natural the calendar is fake everything is fake matrix holidays matrix this 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 christmas is not actually christmas it's not even about jesus it's like everything is backwards and twisted no more so we are being assisted by so many forces in the universe bringing back light these beings these forces are already in power why in the shit would the, would the media tell you that they wouldn't want that people would feel empowered People might unite, people might stand up, stop going to their shitty jobs, stop paying their fake ass taxes. We can't have that. Everything is being put in place very strategically so that everything stacks on top of one another and eventually it happens. Now people tell me, conspiracy theorists are always saying it's going to happen and it never does. What is the sense of urgency? Are you in that much of a hurry to experience freedom of mankind? I understand you're sick of paying taxes, you're feeling depressed, you would love to work a job that you like, maybe you work at a bank. Oh my god, all the compassion in the world if you work at a bank, at fucking Walmart. These are jobs that are literally sucking the energy out of you. It is inevitable for this to happen because this is where we're at on Earth's timeline. The freedom of mankind. The freedom of this powerful, loving, calm species. Going back to our roots, it is not normal for you to always be stressed, for your nervous system to be fried, for you to operate in the most limited and lacking programming. It is not natural. We are being freed from that. So unless you don't believe in that timeline, if you believe that Earth is going to shit and it's going to get worse, feel free to do you. 
but doesn't it resonate more with your soul that yes you are here to bring love back to the planet in your own individual way so yes everything might seem like it's going to shit and i'm not denying it might get rocky meaning when you turn off a system that was meant to enslave and everything falls apart yeah shit might get a little bit chaotic how are the grocery stores going to be filled with food? How are people going to have electricity? How are all of these things going to work when they were dependent on a system that is now being shut down? We are going to be okay. It can't be worse than this. I know you think it could be worse than this, but we are in a prison that we can't see. Go watch the Matrix movies and tell, tell me if you don't feel truth in that. If you think this is headed in the right direction and you just need a little wink, I wrote an ebook called How to Not Lose Your Shit After Unplugging from the Matrix. Check it out. Oh, holy shit, you should check it out.